my name is Kevin Dustberg. This is What Was I Saying Vlog KDB. I'm here to provoke thought, keep my skin jeans up, and move me just a little bit. Um, let me put that down just a touch. Okay. I want to talk to you about... False kindness. Let's put it that way. I want to talk to you about, I want to talk to you about, don't worry if you're whatever, give us a call no matter what. I always have a place for you wherever. If you're ever down on your luck, you can call me. I'm always there for you, Kevin. Don't ever think you can't get a hold of me, Kevin. Don't think you can't ever depend on me, whoever. I got your back. If it all goes to shit, give me a call. You'll always have a place to stay here. People say that they don't freaking mean it, people. Maybe it's human nature. Maybe it's not. They don't mean it, but they feel that they have to say it because society has told these people, be there for the another person. Help out when you can. When someone is down on their luck, give them a helping hand. I have exactly been in those situations. And these are the calls. Uh, uh, can I crash at your place? I just got out of the crazy word. No, I can't, I can't really do that, can't really do that. But you said, if I was down on my luck, I needed a place to stay, you would help me out. Yeah, but it was just all talk. It was all talk. I'm staying in my rental unit. Can I crash with you for a couple of days? Nah, 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 nah. you really can't. I love you all and Kevin, but you really can't. And I'm like, didn't you just three, four months ago, two years ago, say, count on me if something goes bad? When you're down on your luck, give me a call. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I care about you because I got your back. Y yeah, I did say that, but it's different right now. Why? Why is it different? Because, Kevin, you don't have a job. Because, Kevin, you don't have a place to live. Because, Kevin, I don't know about your mental status. Because, Kevin, I only said that to fucking feel good. To feel good. To listen to myself say those words. And think, wow, what a humanitarian I am. What a great person I am. What a person I go out of their way I am. But you fucking never really meant it. You know you would not do it. But you said it anyways. You know why? Because the other person was not down on their luck. Because the other person you didn't have to worry about actually taking care of. Because of the other person you didn't have to worry about their mental status. If they had a place to live, a place to eat, uh, a job. Because you were... It's false courtesy. Why is it you would say that? And someone would actually thought you meant it, but it, it, it was just—it was just my pride. 
It's kind of like the sentiments of prayers and wishes. Prayers and wishes. My prayers and wishes. My prayers and wishes. It's a statement. It fucking doesn't do anything. Except make you look like you're a humanitarian once again. Why do I bring that up? Why do I bring that up right now? Memorial Day. We've, we've got a hell of a lot of uh, veterans out on the street. That's why. Got a whole, whole hell of a lot of veterans on the street. And we shouldn't have one. One is too many. One is too many for those who have given so much. One is too many for those who, do, who lost their, their mental capacity. One is too many for those that are willing to die for what we enjoy right the fuck now. One is too many because we discredited them. One is too many because they did what they said they would do and they come back and they get shit on. All the defense companies, here's what you should do. Every freaking defense company, any company in the military industrial complex has any ties to the government. You put away money. You put away, your company puts away money. You're fucking making it off us. You can put away some money. Your billions, trillions, whatever it is. And that goes to people that have served. All the fucking time. You run the show, the military industrial complex. You call the shots, military industrial complex. You are in with Congress. You are in with Senate, military industrial complex. You get constantly more, more, more contracts and money, military industrial complex. No one questions the military industrial complex. Why can't you fucking save some money for those that have served? Those that actually use your products and die using them. If our budget's always going to be off the fucking hilt, if our budget's never going to be balanced because no one wants a balanced budget, if we don't never do line item vetoes, if we never go work by uh, line by line, if nothing ever gets cut, we have to do other things. Military industrial complex. You are the economy. Fuck them right now, that's for sure. Three quarters of your PhD, three quarters of PhDs go to the military industrial complex. Promo. Why don't you have money? All you, all you guys, should, girls, guys, whatever. Uh, we're not going to. Should get together and have a fund for anybody that has served you're not over there you just want to write the big check so you can stay at the golf place so you can buy the yacht so you can be in a mansion a gated community you're not over there in the fucking foxholes you're not over there killing who knows what have to do who knows what to who knows what because that is your job. You are making yourselves fat at the expense of other people when those other people need help and they don't have it. Fucking you guys should. It makes almost too much common sense, doesn't it? The company that profits from wars should have money from those who served in the fucking war? Absolutely. Absolutely. There should be a percentage of your profit that goes towards veterans. PTSD. People who can't get a job coming back from the service. Those done in their luck. We can, you can make all these fantastic missiles and bombs and GPS and fucking infrared and all this other bullshit. You can't keep some money for those who have served, are serving and fighting with PTSD. We're not dumb. 
You guys write the checks that make the wars. You want a war. A war is good for economy. Talked about this before. Countries of this global nation, it's a nation of economies. These are just economies. All, all the nations are economies of multinational corporations, of multinational groups, of, of businesses. War is just an expansion of the business they can do in other countries. Government's not doing the way the, the, the corporate world wants it to do. Hey, hey, they got this. Hey, they got that. Let's go invade. Don't shoot the messenger. Why don't we have some... Um, why don't we have some hindsight and make them part of their profit goes to veterans? All veterans. And you can fucking figure it out anyway. I know you guys can figure it out. You're fucking selling derivatives to who they couldn't even fucking explain them. So um, I, I understand you guys can do whatever the fuck you want, basically. I'm not talking from the government. I'm talking from your profit. Times of war, you profit. Times of prosperity, you prep and look for more war, profit again. Global war, really humongous profit, unfortunately. When are we going to acknowledge we shit on the people that give us our freedoms? That give us the freedom to speak as I am speaking right the fuck now. When are we going to acknowledge that? When are corporate world going to help that out? Oh, we hire veterans. Oh, are you a veteran? Oh, we hire... Hiring veterans does not fucking fix. You guys made a billion dollars last year. Why can't you save a hundred million for the veterans? What if we had a law? Oh yeah, my mind's thinking today. What if we had a law, a percentage of your profit, if it's related to a military industrial complex, of, go of defense, of government, um, something that would have to be a strategic part of our defense, that profit, 10% goes to the veterans. No ifs, ands, or buts. Land of the free, home of the brave, because we have those willing to sacrifice everything. So we're the fuck here. Why can't we just give back? I'm not talking me and you give back. I'm talking the companies that profit off war, defense, death, Expan expansion. My name's Kim Dugsberg. This is what was I saying about KDB. Um, I thought about this for a long time. I brought this up a long, long time ago. And um, it's common sense. Is it not? Is it not? All right. And what was I saying about KDB? We're going to break it down. Let's pray. Pray for you, pray for me, pray for all peace. Last night I did forget to pray on one of those. Very sorry. Uh, pray for you, pray for me, pray for all peace, pray for those coming and going. Pray for everybody served, is serving, is fighting with PTSD. Pray for those coming on a plane, train, automobile. Pray for those that are uh, in the hospital, out of the hospital, on a better day. Pray for those that, um, medical field, any uniform, anybody in uniform, uh, rescue, first responders. Um, uh, watch out for more psychos are out there. Thank you. Um, my name is Kim Dugsberg. I'm here to provoke thought.
provoking thought means you don't have a peer and moving humanity forward. And I don't think I'm profound. That's not a profound statement. The statement comes courtesy of a gentleman that was at my dad's wake. He said, I did not know Harvey, but he was a good guy. He was a salt to the earth kind of guy. He didn't know him that much. It was six weeks. And he's like, I wanted to come and show my respect. Your dad was such a nice guy. We knew him for five weeks. And I want to, I want to, I'm trying to do that. Make humanity a little bit better. Um, not grandiose or anything. I mean, small things that we could do all together make a bigger difference. My name is Kevin Douglasberg. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys are awesome. And with that, Kevin's out.